Hey everybody, I'm Karen, Karen Nicole Photography. This is Lisa, Lisa Jones Photography. We are back this week to talk a little bit about the Creator Series. We got some guests with us. This is Mr. Vader and this is Mr. Cash. So you might see them come in and out. We'll kind of see. They're our, our special guests for the day. So we're going to talk about the Creator Series and Lisa's whole experience and we're trying to like do little interviews and just kind of know what's kind of going on in her head behind the episodes. So if you haven't watched, there's some spoiler alerts in this little video. So you need to go watch the episode, then come back and watch this. So, all right, here we go. Let's just dive in. So round one is done. Round one is done. And you made it. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. How did that feel? Ah, it, um, relief. I yeah. would say it's a sigh of relief. Um, <laughs> sit down, baby. Um, I, I honestly did not expect to make it through the first challenge. I think I said before the nerves were real. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, you know, I didn't know what was going to happen. And to be honest, you know, we had 10 competitors. I did not go through beforehand and look up the other competitors. I, I was mm. nervous enough just okay. thinking about going. Yeah. Um, so I purposely did not go and look to see who I was Probably a good idea. Against. You had some good competitors in there. Like, yes. You had some great so people. I really did not know what, what to expect from anybody. That's so probably a good game plan. Um, I probably would have curiosity probably would have gotten my cat and I probably would have freaked out. So no. kudos to you for not looking. That's probably a really good plan. I so. just, I didn't need one more thing to be nervous about. And I, and I was only, I was only familiar with one of the photographers and his work is like so out of this world phenomenal um, that I, I didn't, I really didn't want to know about anybody <laughs> that makes sense I anybody can completely else, so. yeah I can completely understand that that's fantastic that you didn't look I'm very surprised and very proud of you so okay so let's talk about the challenge a little hello baby let's talk about the challenge a little bit okay. so first challenge was natural light which to most photographers that's you think that that's just an easy thing no big deal you just set the camera, go for it. Right. But that is not true, by the way. And so, I guess with it being just like an easy thing, you would think, mm -hmm. being natural light, I know you. Right. And I know that you struggle in natural light because <laughs> you shoot strobes most of the time. All the time. Yeah, like 98% of the time. Yeah. So I think maybe this challenge was the other 2% right. <laughs> that you ever shoot in natural light. So. How did that feel knowing that, like, when they announced to you that was the first challenge, what went through your head? Um, a, a couple of things. Natural light going into this is, it's something I thought about, kind of worried about, because I never shoot natural light. I love my strobes. Mm -hmm. um, and going into this, we did not know if we were going to be inside, outside, what kind of, what the lighting Ooh, situation yeah. was going to be. We didn't know what the challenges were going to be. And in my gut, I, I felt like at some point this might be a challenge. Okay. Um, knowing that, I kind of had somewhat of a game plan that, okay, if we get natural light, Here's some things that I could do that would still be, you know, true to my style of photography. Um, but again, I, I, I knew nothing about what we were going to have access to. So initially, the whole natural light challenge kind of um, unnerved me to a degree. But the other challenge that I guess I kind of need to mention is not only was the lighting a challenge, but honestly, for me, the wardrobe 
the model's wardrobe Ooh, was a challenge. Oh, I didn't think about that. So did y'all mm -hmm. have any input at all or did they just, did she just yeah, show up yeah. and you just, here you are? No, no input whatsoever. No we uh, met the model about five minutes before the, the first oh, wow. um, challenger started. Uh, so we, we didn't know what the wardrobe was or coloring or, or anything. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, to me, a yellow satin dress. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly the first thing you'd think to shoot with, right? <laughs> it, it can be a nightmare. Yeah. It really can be a nightmare. And so I well, think... Well, we saw some folks struggled with highlights and, yes. you know, all of that. So there was... Any, yeah. any kind of shiny mm -hmm. fabric. I, I, I hate, like, silk satin. Same, mm. yep. Uh, it's very hard to photograph. Um... And I guess to some degree, maybe it was kind of good that that was the wardrobe for natural light because had I been using strobes, I think it could have been yeah, more of a struggle, maybe. Probably so. And don't get me wrong, the model, stunning. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Gorgeous, oh my Lord. gorgeous young lady. Um, so the model was what perfection. I did not love the yellow dress. And, um, you know, controlling those highlights on that satin dress, it was, it, it was an issue. It was a challenge. Uh, so this yeah. was kind of a double challenge. It really, yeah, you know, I, I didn't even think about the wardrobe until in the episode mm -hmm. when they were struggling some with the highlights and yeah. where the light was going and things like that. Didn't really dawn on me, you know, you know, as you're just watching, you're not really thinking about that, but that's mm -hmm. something you really had to think about. It, it was. So we consider. really, yeah, it was kind of a, it was a double challenge. Yeah, it really was. Wow, that's crazy. So then let's talk about, like, within that. So going on from the challenge, obviously the images, right? So mm -hmm. image critique. Oh, yeah. how's it feel to just be <laughs> judged? Just, ah, everybody's watching, you know? Like, yeah. God, I can't imagine how Normally, that feels. Normally, um... Because I do a lot of competitions. True, yeah. Um, and honestly, the the judging absolutely unnerves me. And mm -hmm. most of the time for competition, I, I don't watch. I don't <laughs> listen to it. Yeah, me either. Um, for this, oddly enough, it it didn't it didn't really make me nervous. Really? That wasn't the nervous part. And okay. I think the reason why is. As they were critiquing the images, pretty much everything they said, whether it was to me or another contestant, I agreed with. Okay. Now, we were only given 30 minutes to call and retouch our images. Oh, wow. So we had to pull them off the card, call through the images, decide which one we wanted to submit, okay. retouch it. And uh, for me, that's not a lot of retouching time. Right. So I was more worried about that. Um, but knowing we had that limited number of time, I don't think anybody had the time to more or less perfect their image right. as far as retouching I mean, you had goes. 10 minutes to shoot and then a few minutes right. to edit. I mean, so, yeah. I, I mean, I expected, I expected critiques. Um, and really everything they, they said, I, I couldn't argue with it. Oh, except, <laughs> oh, there's some juicy. Except <laughs> for one thing. Okay. Well, uh, it kind of towards the end, I think it was Sal that, uh, referenced my image as a Pageant? pageant yes uh-huh um which i absolutely agree with that could have absolutely mm -hmm. been a pageant headshot yeah i mean she was wearing a crown exactly <laughs> so. so with with each um like with this um challenge you know we were told like what here's your challenge and you interpret this challenge as you see it as yeah. as you see it 
Well, one of the other competitors even had the storyline, kind of, you know, right. lots of, the, you know, you just have to have something in your head of what right. you're going for. So, I think it was it was David that had a storyline of, you know, she's a princess. I mean, she's got a crown. So, he mm -hmm. had this, this whole storyline right. to tell about her. Uh, for me, when I looked at the dress and the crown, I just, it, it said pageant. Yeah. So I very much shot this the same way I would shoot a pageant headshot. Mm -hmm. And given the fact that um, I do a lot of pageant headshots, it right. might have been a critique. But it actually was what you I, were going for, maybe not even knowing, but knowing. I took, <laughs> I took it more as a compliment, yeah. honestly. Good. I do not have a, one problem with Sal referring to my image mm -hmm. as pageant yeah. uh, so I'm, I'm thinking okay yeah I mean I, I agree with that I'm like sure absolutely. why not take that <laughs> a absolutely so he might have meant it as a critique but for me it's like okay I can roll with that pageant let's, yeah. let's go I love Check. my pageant girls <laughs> that's yeah. right absolutely yeah. not a bad thing at all not a bad thing all right so then as you're standing there getting those critiques and you know people start you know making it through and you're one of the last ones to go through how did that feel knowing that you were what in the bottom five is that right mm -hmm. yeah so how did that how'd that feel uh, yeah so half half the contestants went three we knew they were sending three of us home okay. after that first challenge so if, for a second i kind of look over and i'm thinking okay there's only five of us left one of us is a winner, three of us are going home. So I knew there was only more or less one, one more card. Yeah. Um, and so I, while I, I didn't feel, I mean, watching the images go through, I didn't feel that my image was weak. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't that I would be sent home for it but I also didn't feel like I had the winning image because I was looking at the four people standing next to me mm -hmm. and out of those other four in my head I'm thinking uh, there's no way this one is going to get sent home or this one or this one so it was I just honestly I uh, I didn't, I, at that point, I didn't know what was going to happen. Wow. So it was, but it was so quick. I didn't have time to really like freak out about to it. To completely analyze it and overthink yeah. it and yeah. freak out. Yeah. <laughs> That's good at least. At least it went quick. Well, congrats. Went quick. You went Thank into you. the second episode. So I guess we will see what that holds on Monday night. Mm -hmm. it's supposed to drop on Monday night at six o'clock, right? Six o'clock mm -hmm. Central Standard Central Time. Time. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll see if we uh, have more interviews <laughs> after that one. We'll see if we'll see you back here. We don't know. There's don't no know. way to know. We don't know. So we congrats, know. my friend. This well, is awesome. You. I'm loving watching this. And honestly, I have to say, um, the way that the whole Sincata team, everybody did everything is very well done. I mean, very well done. I wasn't sure what to expect, you know, like yeah. I've always said Sal needs a, re a reality show because everything that follows Sal, you know, it's just awesome. So from the but conferences they, yeah. and all the things, but this was honestly, it rivaled like major networks. It was very, very good. And, very well and done. And they did it literally a team of amazing four people. Um, so it, just incredible the work they did um just the the way they did it they were we were always running ahead of schedule oh wow um, really so it's yeah to, awesome. to see that first episode you know come out all come together and come yeah. together um i was very very impressed and mm -hmm. 
and I was there, so it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, you were there. You so, saw um, all yeah. the things. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, y'all keep watching her social media because there's lots coming out from yes, the Creator Series mm -hmm. and all that good stuff, all the behind the scenes, little tidbits and things like that. And then we'll be doing this next week as well because we yeah. know you made it that far. Yeah. <laughs> So we'll I've see you back here next too. week. So we'll, after that, we don't know. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, have a great day. Thanks for joining.